One day I was playing Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I found myself wondering how some of the sound effects in it were created, especially the power-up sound, and also the power-down sound, which is the same as the sound of going through a pipe. So both of these sounds are created by playing notes very quickly, to the point where you don't really hear the individual notes anymore, but you just hear a blur of notes that are in such a pattern that you still instantly recognize it as the sound of Mario getting a mushroom or going through a pipe. But if we want to understand how these sounds are composed, it would help to slow them down and try to get an understanding of what the notes actually are, or at least what the musical patterns are that are used to create these sounds. I'm going to be focusing on the power-up sound, and the reason for that should become apparent shortly. Now, you might have already deduced what's going to happen here, if you've seen the title of the video, but let's go to our audio editor and see what we can do. All right, so here's our sound. And what I'm gonna do is just change the speed of that. We want this to be around a quarter of the original speed, so a speed multiplier of 0.25 or a negative 75% change. And this is what we get. So that's also changed the pitch of the sound instead of just the tempo. If you're wondering why I didn't change the tempo with this, uh, for some reason that doesn't work as well. So we're just gonna pitch that back up, uh, a 300% change to get us back to the original pitch. And now it sounds like... So we can tell that the sound is just arpeggiated chords, specifically a C major chord, and then an A flat major chord, and then a B flat major chord. But there's something else that you might have noticed about this, and that is the similarity to the end of the level fanfare that plays on levels one through three of each world after you get the flagpole. So what I'm going to do is play the power up slowed down again, and then that's going to be followed by the end of the level sound, and we'll compare those. So the two sounds are similar, but they're definitely not exact. One of the main differences is that the power-up sound is all single notes. Whereas the, the end of the level sound is harmonized. Another difference is the rhythm. The power-up sound, all of the notes are the same length. and you know, none of the notes are held for longer, or there's no pauses or anything like that. The end of the level sound, however, follows a pattern of six triplets followed by two quarter notes. And then the next measure is the same as that. The third measure, the second quarter note is changed to another three triplets. And then finally we end on a C chord, which that's also missing from the power-up sound. What that gives us is basically a one flat six, flat seven, one sort of chord progression, which is actually pretty common in Mario games and also other Nintendo games. But that means it's not too unusual that we would end up with that same chord progression in you know, two different sounds. But one of the explanations that I often see for why these are similar is that they actually are the same sound. The idea is that they actually reused the end of the level sound as the power-up sound and just sped it up. And the reason they did that was to save space on the game cartridge. Now, as far as I know, the entire ROM for this game is 40 kilobytes. And that's pretty crazy by today's standards. You know, they were able to fit all those graphics and sounds level data and game logic and everything within that compact space. They would have had to have been as efficient as possible when doing that, and reusing sounds with just different speeds seems like one of the ways that they might get away with doing that. But the issue is, do the sounds actually match up? And my answer to that is that they don't. We've got those rhythm differences, which is a pretty big issue, but even if we ignore that, 
you know, can we actually match up the notes of the power-up sound to any of the notes, you know, including the harmonies and everything in the end of the level sound? And I was not able to do this. So what we're going to have to do to make this a little bit easier is uh, transcribe the sounds and then we'll do some more detailed comparisons. Okay, so we've got a bit better of a visual here on the, the actual notes that are being played. Here's the two sounds in question here again. Um, you'll notice actually that I've added three extra notes in the beginning here. So this is how the sound, the power-up sound was actually supposed to be played. The way that we hear it in the game starts on the fourth note because of a coding error, I think. But anyway, what we end up with is, whereas it was originally supposed to sound like a little bit different, not a huge difference, but we'll take both of those into consideration when trying to match up the uh, notes with the end of the level sound. So first, let's see if we can find the exact pattern of notes that are being played here. So it, it's actually really simple. We, for the C major, the A flat major, and the B flat major, we have a pattern of the root position chord. So in the case of C, it is C, E, G, and then C again, an octave higher. Then it goes back to the G, or the fifth, of the chord. And then it plays the same thing an octave higher. So... And then, after that, it moves on to the A-flat major. So we have A-flat, C, E-flat, A-flat, and then back to the E-flat, and then it plays the same thing, just an octave higher. And then same thing with the B-flat, so we have B-flat, D, F, B-flat an octave higher, and then back down to the F, and then same thing, an octave higher. So let's see if we can find that pattern anywhere in the end of the level sound. Now. I'm going to be extremely lenient here, you know, looking for this anywhere or in, in any combination of the melody, the harmony part, or even the bass part that eventually comes in here. So for the first part, we know that we're, we're starting on a C. So here's our first C note. Uh, we're looking for a root position C chord ending at the octave and then down, down to the fifth and then same thing an octave higher. So, well, actually, we're going with the missing uh, first three notes here on the first part, but so we have C, G, C, and then this should be a root position C, which we have, and then the octave C, and the ending on the G. So, if we ignore the differing uh, note lengths here, then we actually have all the notes. Um, you know, the C, G, C, E, G, C, G. However, we're, we're going to have a problem on the A flat when it gets back to the full pattern. So there's our A flat. Um, should be a root position A flat major chord which we have, and then the octave A flat, and then back down to the E flat, and then the same thing an octave higher. So, and we ran out of notes. Um, this is supposed to, there's supposed to be three extra notes at the end. The, um, or sorry, two extra notes. Um, so it goes, and then the octave A-flat, and then back down to the uh, fifth, the E-flat. So it doesn't match up there. We run out of notes before we get to the end. So now on to the B-flat uh, major part. So...
So this is even worse, uh, you know, because we have B flat, D, but then there's no F. It stays, it stays on the D, or if we go to the melody, it goes up to the B flat um, instead of the fifth there. So it's we're missing three notes on this part. It should end with. So, so yeah, the problem is if we try to match up the slowed down power up sound with the end of the level sound, we run out of notes. And so as far as I can tell, I, I don't see how you would take the end of the level sound, speed it up and end up with the power up sound because you know there are just all these differences the rhythm is wrong notes are missing it does seem kind of odd that they would be so similar without it being a reuse of the same sound but i got to thinking about it and i i don't think it's really that crazy because like i mentioned before the the end of the level sound and also sort of the power up sound is following a one flat six flat seven one chord progression and this progression is very well known with mario music and even other nintendo games and so the idea that they would use that on two different sound effects isn't all that weird you know it's it's something that seems perfectly reasonable that they would do and so it could just be somewhat of a coincidence that these sounds are similar without being exactly the same but if you know if they were gonna take advantage of reusing the sound to save space why would there be all these changes you know why why wouldn't they have just sped up the end of the level sound and made that the power-up sound it just it, to me it doesn't make a lot of sense now that being said it, it is possible that somehow the way that it's programmed allows them to create the power-up sound with these some combination of these notes and the changes still you know allow it to save space versus creating two completely separate sounds i admittedly i don't have the skill to get into the game code and see whether or not it's using any common uh, data there so it's possible that someone else has already proven me wrong and you know, if that's the case, I always enjoy the opportunity to learn something new. But if it is the case, though, maybe you're still interested in what the differences are between the two sounds as you hear them in the game. And that's what we've gone over just now. But overall, my verdict is I don't think they're the same sound. All right, bonus content. So towards the beginning of the video, I mentioned the pipe sound as well as the power-up sound. And so if you're wondering how that one is created as well, it is basically just very fast descending perfect fifths. And it sounds like this at normal speed. And if we bring the tempo down here, So, you know, it's that same pattern of, uh, so there's four descending fifths, and then it does the same thing again, and then it goes down three notes lower there, and then that same thing repeats three times with a little bit of a delay, and that's what gives you the power down sound or the pipe sound. Uh, second bonus content. Um, this is kind of off topic, but you can get some really interesting results with that end of the level sound with some of these uh, synthesizer sounds that add extra notes to it like this one <laughs> <laughs> 